Greg, we've had a, a couple of days of really good preparation here ahead of Saturday. How have preparations gone? It must be exciting, it must be building within the squad. Yeah, look, I, I'm just really proud of the players for how they've bought into what we're trying to do as, as, a, as a management group. I mean, the, I think the facilities here have been outstanding. The players are, are buying into uh, what's going to be a, a really tough test week for us. Um, and we can't ask more than the players. Uh, their work rate has been outstanding. And both on and off the field now, as as as, uh, as we grow as a group, it's about you know testing ourselves. And the facilities here, as I said, have been outstanding. And now he's got to prepare for the weekend. One more captain's run and into the game on Saturday. As coaches, you've really put the players under pressure here on the pitch. Yeah. Intense sessions, but they've responded brilliantly. They have. Like obviously, your install days, your long day. There's lots of learnings. Uh, yesterday was a combat day, so you're getting through lots of collisions and the heat. I mean, you know, it's it's 35 degrees, it's really humid. And then today was a fast day, so the players have worked tirelessly. Um, and as I said to you, the preparation's been really important and, and Ed Slattery, our s staff, have, like, they've been on that with the medical staff to make sure that the players are, are drinking the right uh, fluids and, and preparing um, for what are really tough sessions. And they've got through it pretty well, we're pretty happy. You know, the idea always is to prepare yourself nearly for worst case scenarios and to test yourself to a greater demand of the game. And we try to do that and we just hope we've done enough now that we can be good and competitive come the weekend. Three days out from the first test, but this has been a whole summer programme. Yeah. We've worked with 51 players, you had a week in Dublin last mm. week together and now we've been here a couple of days as well. So it's all been building nice and you can really see the cohesion and togetherness in this group. They're just a special group. I mean, um, it, it, yeah, it's a young squad, and yeah, we're starting on a journey. Yeah, we're not going to the Rugby World Cup. We know all those things, but all we can do is, I keep talking about it, is just go out and do everything we can to represent this country the way it should be. We'll play with as much heart as we can. We'll stick to task as much as we can. We're playing against a Japanese side that are preparing for the Rugby World Cup, so they're in a slightly different cycle. They've come off the back of six games over the last you know, eight, nine weeks, playing Australia three times, South Africa and Fiji. So, you know... I think they're going to be more match ready and um, I'm just excited, we're going to give some people opportunities I'm so excited to see how they respond and uh, every day is a school day so we just get better every time we're together and as long as we have that mindset well then I'll be very proud as a head coach. Just finally the new caps, there's plenty of new faces in the squad you touched on, how they suddenly? I mean, I think their family should be so proud of them. Um, yeah, like they're 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 uh, they're doing outstanding, and you know, to their rugby coaches that have helped them from when they were younger, they're getting their opportunity and they deserve it. And a lot of people have put a lot of effort into these girls through mini and underage rugby, and they mightn't get the recognition. But trust me, as a head coach of a national side, I really respect all the work they do.